Hey, how's it going? Uh, I like to talk about S O W or so and what that is. Uh, so it refers to a statement of work. It's a formal document uh, commonly used in project management, particularly in the context of constructual agreements or partnerships. It outlines the specific task ac activities, deliverables, and expectations related to a project. The purpose of the statement of work is to provide a clear and detailed uh, description of what is to be accomplished within the project, helping to set clear expectations and prevent misunderstandings between parties involved. I personally believe it has, uh, <laughs> that's another way to be funny, I guess, uh, than talking about overall saw, if they could be used as a verb or planting seeds, as you probably can understand. But overall, that's uh, in terms of for perhaps manufacturing, overall engineering, that would be a statement of work, but would be required for potential contractor. Uh, key components typically include in a statement of works are scope of work, a detailed description of projects, objectives, tasks, activities, and deliverables. It outlines what needs to be done and the purpose of the project. Timeline, a timeline in a schedule for completing various tasks and deliverable milestones. This helps establish a clear project timeline and manage deadlines. Resources and responsibilities. Information about who will be responsible for each task or activity and the resources required to accomplish them, such as personal equipment and materials. Budget and costs. Uh, an overview of the budget allocated for the project, including costs associated with labor, material, and any other expenses that the project might have. Uh, that's overall a complete breakdown. Uh, just a couple more points. That would be quality standards, specifications for the expected quality of work, product, or deliverables. This ensures that both parties have shared understanding of what would be required uh, level of inter in regards to level of quality. Uh, acceptance uh, criteria, criteria that must be met for the Delivering to be accepted as a completed overall project. This helps avoid disputes about where the work has been done and satisfied uh, according to requirements and uh, setting those expectations. And uh, assumptions and constraints. Any assumptions made about the project and any limitations of uh, con uh, constraints that could, uh, that could affect the project executions. Change management, a process of handling changes of, uh, to the project scope, schedule, or other aspects. This helps manage changes while minimizing disruption. Just overall, uh, what would be uh, achievable with having a clear statement of work would be set expectations from for both parties for one uh, looking uh, for particular tasks to be completed and other party do you deliver that task and setting expectations? How do you work together? A well-prepared statement of work is important for establishing a strong foundation for project, ensure all parties involved understand their roles, responsibilities, and the scope of the work required. It is especially crucial in contractual relationships where expectations needed to be clear, defined to prevent disputes and ensure uh, uh, the successful completion of the project, uh, timeline to the uh, many things, many things within the project. I'm not entirely sure uh, if it covers all the details, but uh, overall that's uh, outlined for how to set the expectations when working with others. Uh, so, or statement of work can be a, lar a part of the larger contract. A larger contract it can potentially have the other systems in place. Uh, some of them can be NDA, non-disclosure agreement, within the contract. Other would be so uh, statement of work, uh, uh, overall internal inputs, any additional uh, terms and conditions within the contract, and perhaps photos or videos to you uh, convey message and what will be required. Uh, 
uh, that would be overall, it can be overall structure of the contract and it, it, it sets expectations of what will be required for work and perhaps uh, understanding between two parties. For uh, those of you who are just venturing in perhaps overall business uh, uh, world and what would be required for you to know, that would be additional t t tool that you can have in your toolkit when it comes to perhaps tracking down the contracts and later showing those contracts to your lawyer. That would be one way of doing it. But overall, that uh, why would you need to know about a statement of work and uh, uh, what would be potential areas of how you can use it? That would be project management uh, when it comes to setting expectations, uh, clients or customers, uh, uh, document that you could potentially share with uh, your overall prospects, uh, uh, stakeholders, service providers or vendors perhaps, uh, uh, contract uh, managers, legal teams, uh, quality assurance and uh, testing teams. Uh, risk management teams, uh, change management teams, uh, auditors and compliance teams. That would be overall who might require or how you could use it for, for and how you can solve potential problems within your business. That would be just some of the areas that you, need, you can have it for. I have published a journal for anyone who is interested in personal development and management of your time, your resources, your finance, just some of those areas. And uh, within the journal, I'm sharing uh, a lot of information, how to structure your day, how to develop overall habits and how to implement changes. I'm highlighting key areas within your day that on those areas that you should focus on and uh, how you should improve your overall time management and some of those skills that I would think would benefit in the long term of the development of those. If you would like to purchase this uh, journal, you can find it on my company's website, as well as uh, top retailers has it as well. Feel free to chat me if you would like to receive signed copy. There's 100 people who will do it. I'll send uh, signed copy myself. Thank you. I'm currently reaching out to a number of uh, potential businesses for collaboration opportunities and some of those businesses have different uh, standards or practices how they are operating, uh, standard operating overall uh, soft, standard of work and this kind of contract. It would be used for some different regions within the world. Uh, within the world. Uh, not necessarily everyone would use this particular standard. I think it's very flexible and easy to implement and use, outlining everything what needed to be done and uh, contract the way how it should be written. I'm currently using this principle. I see I might adapt different uh, principles, standards when it comes to working uh, with the different companies. But uh, it seems that this is one of the best currently. See, perhaps in the future I will adapt uh, uh, some different principles. Uh, if I had to share an example of how to structure a project using a statement of work, that would be project initiation, define project objectives, clearly state the goal and outcome of the project, what are aims of the project that you are looking to achieve, identify stakeholders, determine who is involved in the project and uh, their roles or responsibilities within the project, perform feasibility analysis, assess the project feasibility in terms of resources, time and budget, project planning, uh, create project charter, summarize project purpose, objectives and high level scope, a developed project scope, clearly define what's included and excluded from the project, break down work, define the project into task activities and deliverables, uh, create a schedule, uh, deploy a timeline with, uh, with milestones and deadlines, allocate resources, assign roles, responsibilities and resources to the team members, Estimate costs, calculate the budget required for the project, define quality standards, uh, specify uh, the expected quality of work, 
identify risk, identify potential risk and apply mitigation plans within the project if something goes wrong, because it always does. I hope it won't, but it always does. Create communication plan, outline how stakeholders will be updated and how often perhaps that can be within a plan. Project execution, kick off a meeting, introduce the project to the team and clarify expectations, execute tasks, carry out the plan tasks and activities, uh, monitor progress, keep track of work uh, completed and compare uh, it to the schedule, man uh, manage change, handle any changes to the scope, schedule and resources, communication, maintain regular communications within the team members and stakeholders, project monitor and control, perform uh, performance tracking, compare actual progress to the uh, plan schedule and the budget, risk uh, management, uh, continuously, uh, continuously, monitor and manage identified uh, Identify the risks. Quality assurance: ensure that work meets the the defined quality standards. Issue uh, resolutions: address any problems uh, that arise during the project. Status reporting: provide regular updates to stakeholders on the project status. Project closure: finalize deliverables, complete all project tasks, and produce the final deliverables. Client approval: obtain client approval from. Uh, for deliverables of throughout acceptance criteria, acknowledge transfer, share project knowledge with the uh, appropriate teams, uh, uh, validate project, assess the project success against the uh, objectives, uh, close contracts, complete any outstanding contractual obligations, lessons learned, uh, document what works and what could be improved, uh, celebrate, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> That's overall gist of it. And uh, <laughs> uh, thanks for watching and see you next one.